this area, the Chicago region, uh, we have some of the most botanically rich ecosystems, or at least we had at one time, kind of off the charts compared to a lot of other areas in the United States. We got the the northern regions, we've got the lakeshore regions, you know, we've got um, glaciated areas like Stark Rock, and then prairie in between. There's a lot of diversity here. Uh, my name is Ed Max, and I am uh, the owner of Max's Greener Places. We do landscape and landscape installations, uh, primarily focusing on native habitats, especially oak habitat and the inhabitants of, such as you see back here, all the native wildflowers and things. I live in West Chicago, have a nice little parcel of land here, which was a well-developed garden before I got a hold of it, and now I've been kind of adding to it, increasing species diversity, all that sort of thing. With the bluebells, as you see, and we got lots of the queen bumblebees are all over them right now, as are the hummingbirds. And then, of course, we've got uh, lots of different species of frogs over in the wetland there. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun and a lot of work. Because of pressure from overpopulation of deer, garlic mustard, Asian honeysuckle, the list goes on with invasive species, we're really starting to see a decline in all of our higher quality native spring ephemerals in particular. It's, it's worrisome that going forward, we're gonna start seeing a, a decline in our open space of a lot of these species. And it's, it's happening everywhere. With the local pollinators, as we know, you know, the native bees and solitary bees are really kind of in a precipitous decline. Giving a lift to the pollinators doesn't require a whole lot. It doesn't matter the size of the property. Even in Chicago, you can, you can do it. There's always areas around the edges. To, to plant something. We've put in prairies in Oak Park and uh, wetlands in Glen Ellen, you know, so, so it could be done. There could be an area, for instance, in the back corner where you would plant some of the native goldenrods or bee balm, monarda, and you, you sit back and watch and it's just remarkable, the, the explosion of life that you'll see on these plants when they're in flower. A lot of these species are vanishing, even in our open spaces, because of all of this pressure. So we have uh, Noah's Ark of sorts, you know, a, a collection that hopefully someday can be put to good use to reintroduce into some of our areas that are losing all of this diversity. I feel much gratification because we know we're sort of helping out in, a, in our own small way. The foundation and other groups, I think, are an integral part of this. So we, we've got a long way to go, but yeah, one, one yard at a time, I guess we could say. What's really great is when you're, when you're really involved and immersed in native species, you get an enormous uptick in the insect populations, pollinators, birds, the snake we saw earlier. It's, it's fun. Once you start planting native species, you're gonna start seeing a, a world of life that otherwise you would be missing. <laughs>